Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So this week, each day I've given you a chore to do. And if you've been tracking with me, you've worked through some really great advice that Paul gives us on how we can better live a Christian life. And I want to give you a piece for the today, a chore for today, that, that is in some ways one of the greatest blessings we can ever have. And it comes in the last chapter of a letter that Paul wrote to a church up in Macedonia. And that's kind of between Greece and Turkey, okay? The church is located in a town that was called Philippi. We call the letter Philippians. And in the fourth chapter, the sixth verse, Paul says the following. Be worried in nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication, in other words, asking, with thanksgiving. So in prayer, by asking God and being thankful to God, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And that's what he says. And this got real personal to me. When I was going to a hearing, and the hearing was in Dallas. Now, I live in Houston. And an older Christian brother, who's a lawyer that works with me, uh, and I were headed to this hearing, and we were flying to Dallas. And we were taking the last possible flight we could to Dallas. And we boarded the plane and we're waiting to take off when the pilot comes on and tells us a red light has indicated an engine problem and we will not be able to go. Now, this hearing was very important. It was important for my clients, but it was important for us as a law firm. And it's too late to drive to Dallas. There's no other flight I can get to Dallas. I'm just not going to be able to be there. And I think the worry must have shown on my face because my friend and, and fellow lawyer said to me, hey, Mark, when that red light came on the engine, do you think God was surprised? And I chuckled and said, no, of course not. And he said, good, then I'm not going to worry. He says, I only get worried if I think it might have surprised God. Oh, wow, that's a story. And, and that's the philosophy I've adopted. But now here's your chore. Paul doesn't simply say, don't be worried about anything. He says, don't be worried about anything, but instead, tell God what it is you're worried about. And when you tell God your worries, do it with thanksgiving, knowing that he is going to be there with you through whatever difficulties you've got. Come what may, it will not come to you alone. God will not be surprised about what happened. And a peace will come into your heart that you can't even understand. So here's the chore. Today, identify something you're worried about. And right now, take that worry to God and say, God, I'm worried about this. Would you please either fix it, solve it, or give me the strength and wisdom to walk right through it? And God will honor that. So you can in the same prayer say, thank you, God. I'm leaning on you. That's your chore today. That's your video thought for the day. I'll see you again Monday.